Well, welcome, a warm welcome to all of you for this closing event. So, after all, I'm going to do it in, in German, and as the translation has already been announced, and all the English speaking guests are in the other hall. Oh, that's not happening? Wait. Okay, jetzt ist das closing event dann doch auf Deutsch. Oder uh, doch auf Englisch. Also, er sagt jetzt gerade, dass es wohl etwas merkwürdig für die Übersetzer wird, weil jetzt auf einmal... Ah, nachher wird auch die Sprache noch einmal gewechselt. Vielen Dank, jetzt, dass ihr hier seid. Es ist das erste Mal, dass ich so ein Abschlussevent mache. Alles ist gut gelaufen. Vielen Dank für dieses wun diese wunderbare Veranstaltung und dafür, hierher gekommen zu sein. Und bevor wir anfangen mit diesen ganzen eher langweiligen Statistiken, würde ich euch gerne über von etwas erzählen, was wirklich neu war auf diesem 30. Chaos Communication Congress. Es war das erste Mal, dass wir tatsächlich einige Sponsoren suchen mussten. Denn dies, diese Veranstaltung war wirklich viel zu, viel zu teuer. Und es war etwas vollkommen Neues. Und ich hoffe, es ist okay für euch. Und ich würde jetzt gerne... Security Solutions, for Security Solutions Limited vorstellen und er würde gerne, er würde gerne ein paar Worte an das Publikum richten. Okay, so we're switching back to German, so I assume we're translating into English now? This is a little bit confusing, isn't <laughs> it's it? It's slightly confusing. <laughs> so... <laughs> Did he just switch to English? I just switched to English, yes, because I mean... Okay, so... Hello, my name is Ola Novotny. I'm... I'm, I'm second head, head of the uh, Security Solutions Limited. We are a pretty young corporation that is operating both in the private and the public sector. We're offering proactive security solutions. Thank you, thank you. This is very nice of you. And we're trying to make a difference in the security industry that is unparalleled in the whole world. And the crowd is going a little bit wild here. So. To sum it up, quality made in Germany. For everyone who doesn't get this reference, we recommend um, the Bullshit Made in Germany talk. Well, all of this would not be possible without the close cooperation or even uh, collaboration into this very unique and undescribably inspiring community. And I would like to take the opportunity to thank our friends from the Netherlands and the United States of America. Because there they have organizations without which the good contacts into the scene of hackers and computer specialists would never have been possible. It has enormous consequences that that a movement such as the Chaos Computer Club has spoken out to the social problems that the continuing digitalization of society brings and that is why we are very happy today to be a gold sponsor of the 30th Chaos Communication Congress this year. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much and we hope, we hope that 
we will continue to to sponsor events like the Congress in Hamburg in the future and of course other hacker events all across Europe and can sp support these events and let me say one thing very clearly it has been our pleasure to cater to the scene of creative hats here at this event and helping them with organization and of course also with financial aid and s support them in this way we hope that together that future collaborations with you all these innovative and young people like the ones that we can meet them everywhere at this Congress. We hope that f for all topics concerning security, to make steps forward and to influence them in a positive way. I hope this is not serious. This is terrible co-op co talk. <laughs> this it's a really good set <laughs> right there. So and <laughs> of course, it's w in our interest between our customers in the public sector, the private sector, and also you, the great talents of the IT sector, sector to to involve you in interesting activities <laughs> um, in online trading, uh in prevention and of crime in, in defending the national security. Applause. <laughs> and especially the cyber defense. Applause and laughter. <laughs> God, I hope someone is playing buzzword bingo in the audience. <laughs> we require <laughs> innovative, effective, and efficient solutions. Shouts from the audience. Doing development together by helping out each other practically because dealing with complex security questions is what we stand for. More laughter, more applause. And of course, let's not forget your chances to make a contribution to more security in the world. Bingo. <laughs> oh, someone had a bingo here. <laughs> Whether it's in our continuing fight against... More applause. <laughs> our continuing fight against organized crime drug trafficking, pornography, L more laughter, <laughs> and of course, the international terrorism. Security Solutions offers solutions that sounds especially nice in English. And helps to protect the public. <laughs> By surveilling international flows of finances of travelers and especially, and I would like to stress this, just let me mention this, the, the surveillance the total surveillance of internet traffic, our special technical solutions make a great contribution to all this. Thank you. Our special solutions make 
a very valuable contribution and in order to enable this contribution we require we require you I think he's losing the audience now, isn't he? <laughs> There's shouts, booing. I hope you're getting part of the original audio. So w come work with us together in an innovative area, in a young team, in order to tackle the f challenges of the future. So now we have a security guy um, in the yellow shirt who's taking him away, it this is guy in a suit. My pleasure to... There's applause from the audience, laughter. It is my... Now he lost the mic. Well, I guess that was the first time we had someone on there in a suit who isn't Nick Farr. Yeah, I thought it was Nick because he was wearing a yellow shirt or a yellow hoodie or something. <laughs> I, I thought it was Nick, but it turned out he was, it wasn't Nick. Well, apparently it was at the wrong event. Okay, so to perfect the confusion we have here, I'll continue in German. And we'll have laughter in the hall, and we had a lot of laughter here, of course, with the translators. Oh, well, we're flexible, so... And I'll try... Well, maybe I can't speak as slowly as he did. What we saw here is basically the end of a four-day experiment we had some kind of role play game at this congress or we let people do this do this role play game and the point of this event was to actually fi recruit people that means there were people here there were actors who were who, who walked around on, on uh, around all around the congress and pretended to be recruiters and to actually targeted people and talk to them and this play, we enacted it because this is actually something that happens on most of these security conferences where these recruiters are running around and are tar directly talking to people to actually recruit them for their shady businesses. And we kind of wanted to show you and to, rec to remind you how these things work. And we also, of course, wanted to see what the reactions to these advances would be. <laughs> I don't think there's any videos of this, but, well, <laughs> of course I can say that we're really, really proud and are really happy that most of the almost 150 people that have been targeted just declined and didn't, t and didn't f follow this up any further. More shouts from the audience. What? Five hundred? Oh, well, then I kind of got the numbers wrong. Well, but it's really, really a positive sign that generally, well, in two cases there was actually some kind of feedback from the people who had been contacted, and they actually, and those people actually, um, they afterwards had a conversation behind st behind the stage. We don't want to embarrass anyone here publicly, but maybe go like have a moment of silence and think about it and maybe think about um, how you can maybe earn your money um, in an honorable and honest way. And on top of that, we don't only want to appeal to the participants of this conference or other security conferences, but also to the people who actually organize these security conferences. Because sadly, it's pretty much common use, uh, common practice that a lot of organizers of security conferences will are actually have to rely on sponsors and don't really care about where these sponsors actually come from in the end. So they don't wonder, well, maybe do they come from some kind of shady corner I don't want to identify with? So we also want to appeal to organizers of conferences like those. In if, they really, if they really have to depend 
on these sponsors. When if we with this thir thirty C C three Congress can show that it's great to have an amazing show without an without a single sponsor. Applause. Long applause. We had a huge event here. We gave you a huge event. With you, before you, we had more than 9,000 visitors. People shouting 10,000. What? And well, as I said, all of this without any sponsors. Look at the launch. We even have we even have a wa one of these water throwing machines the police uses. Well, yeah, and talking about this, I'd like to come to the statistics, the bare numbers. What? Again, there's shots from the shots from the audience and from the side of the stage. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, that happens sometimes if you're looking for these numbers all over the place. Then, well, you might get some things wrong. Oh, so we had more than 9,000 visitors. We had at least 1,000 angels, without whom this whole event would not have been possible. Yeah, they have been doing such a lot of work. I'm not thinking of the translators, but everyone. And these 150 angels that are on the slide are probably only the audio angels. And then, then there have been 178 speakers that would have been completely without audio if there had not been the 150 audio angels. But a significant number of tickets that were sold before in pre-sale, I didn't get the number, I'm sorry. We had 170 lectures. That's lectures sometimes about an hour, sometimes longer. Um, talks of 30 minutes. We had lots uh, slots with much shorter talks. So to have some shorter, smaller talks that are but uh, still more substantial than lightning talks. We had 154 assemblies. How many workshops we actually had, I cannot tell you. We probably would have given you a wrong number again. But there's been more than 250. Well, that's already pretty much that's a lot. And the number of these lectures, all these talks on the various stages, actually took up 122 hours and 40 minutes. So, concerning the speakers, we had 8 kilos of cookies, that means 50 grams of cookies for each speaker. Or, okay. We had 10 kg of tea, but apparently no, no chance to actually prepare the tea, no possibility to actually prepare the tea. Prepare the tea. We had 169 bottles of water that were being used. And apparently there was also one bottle of booze, but th it hasn't turned up yet, so it got mi it went missing at some point. So, for these speakers, there have been seven angels that took care of these speakers the whole time and ma made sure they got to the stages, answered questions, and again, lots of thanks to these uh, seven angels who worked for the speakers for 74 hours. And what I also think is quite remarkable, and what apparently uh, is happening right now as well, is that there were 18 volunteers who in total translated tw 42 lectures from German to English and sometimes from English to German, as everyone who's listening in right now will probably know. Yeah, it's true. 
and to have um, for Germans that don't speak English too well to, to let them listen in to what the speakers are saying. Thanks a lot for that. The amount of space that we had compared to last year, I cannot tell you in square meters, but overall we had a third more space uh, in contrast to 2012, so we had larger and more lecture halls and more space in front of them. And I think that was noticeable, o although we had more visitors this year. But I think uh, compared to the BCC in Berlin that we used until 2011, it was fairly relaxed, wasn't it? An absolute novelty this year were the chaos carers or uh, more volunteers that... Uh, got parents, I'd say. Got parents, maybe, yeah, who volunteered to take care of people that were here the first time and don't have no idea how the Congress works and don't normally dare to go on a Congress because so many new impressions uh, would be found and so many people and technology that you have nothing to do, to do, <coughs> to do with and uh, that uh, that was what these chaos got parents did to communicate to people that uh, you can come to take the shyness and fear away and uh, we had more than 100 registrations uh, concerning participants that wanted to be cared for by the chaos got parents and uh, overall we had 12 autistic participants who would otherwise not have not have come at all and that worked very well uh, the number at the bottom is wrong I've just been told it was more than 30 chaos godparents and well, as I said, there was good feedback from this and uh, particularly this, this autistic care and the aut autistic participants were, were very happy with the whole thing and I hope that this will be extended in the future. Uh, there were t a few projects that I like to talk about or can talk about because they supplied me with information. The Chaos in School project or, um, this year had about 100 participants where they basically had two stations, uh, a handcraft station more or less that we built projects such as an alarm system um, which is mainly directed to kids and children and young people that uh, want to deal with the hacking and experimenting and want to be led to that towards it and then this chaos in schools program was mainly down to the regional circles of Mannheim, Essen and Paderborn Dresden the slide also says but there were many more many other groups anyway lots of thanks for that so that even our youngest participants were properly cared for and again some more heartfelt applause And then the Seidenstraße, shall I call it Silk Road? Uh, I can't, I don't have to say much. There were dedicated talks about the final statistics uh, and what other things are noteworthy. Um, so overall, there were 1.4 kilometers of tubes, 14 stations that you could hear sometimes. And there were at least 500 capsules. Uh, that's the numbers that were registered through a counter. Um, but surely there were various black capsules as well. W and at, at least one case showed this because a Marta bottle was used as a capsule. <laughs> and, well, that glass bottle was full as far as I know. And it was accelerated so much that it, uh, when it ran, went around a bend, it didn't follow the bend, but went through the tube and created a new <laughs> bottle drop point that way. <laughs> oh, it's so hard not to laugh sometimes. 
It sounds funny, perhaps, but we can say that we've been lucky that no one was in the way there. Talking about the Silk Road, we would like to ask you, as you exit, and uh, if you've played with the Silk Road, please help with dismantling it. You can take things away, the tubes, you can take things with you, but not the vacuum cleaners that drove it. The regional circles need those to clean their spaces. So please help with taking down the Silk Road if you've played with it or whether you haven't. Feel free to, to take some of that tubes for your gardens or something, but leave the vacuum cleaners. Uh, the Silk Road is one of the few objects in this room that was not paid by, it was, it's not going to be taken down by the Congress Center personnel. Uh, a remark about division of labor between Congress Center and, and us, but applause for the Silk Road, please. And the other remark will be, uh, dealt with later. Also a very successful and completely new project at this Congress. Mart and beer after day two. Uh, the Martacalypse came about on day two. This is what it looked like in, in our storage. These are all crates of empty bottles or empty crates. Now at the, at the left we see the typically yellow Club Marta crates all empty, a few beer crates, and then Flora, Power, Marta. So that's what it looked like at that time in our storage, and uh, you probably noticed this at the bar as well. We have a list of things that were sold out. On day one, 1,000 GSM SIM cards were sold out. I didn't get one, this translator says. That went pretty fast. Uh, apparently the design of those cards was so popular that they went like hotcakes and uh, lots of thanks for the people that uh, took the trouble to not just uh, supply these SIM cards with their function but actually design them nicely as well. Uh, as said before, Club Mart on day two sold out that uh, created a sort of certain bottleneck in delivery. I uh, wasn't able to produce a slide that said how many kilometers around Hamburg uh, we exhausted Marta supplies. <laughs> One lorry came from, from Bremen, which is what, 150, 100 kilometers away? By train, it's about one hour. Yeah. But it's a, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty fast one. Yeah. On day three, forks, were gone. Who has eaten all those forks? And the water was gone too. But at least we, uh, we had new supplies all the time. Day two was a bit difficult. I think it was Sunday. I completely lost track of time, but I think uh, Sunday, oh, uh, he's wrong. It was Saturday. Uh, at least it was the weekend. Uh, so um, uh, as you can imagine, or as you may have seen, the shirts and wristbands and then pullovers were gone pretty quickly. At least the no normal sizes, I think 96% of the shirts and pullovers were sold. And in the end, I, I didn't notice this, but I think those wristbands were gone at some point because no one had expected so many people apparently. That Uh, the Flora Power uh, uh, supplies were then uh, safeguarded by smaller lorries that uh, permanently were going around because there were no large uh, lorries to be had. Uh, right. Continuing t to uh, things that uh, among nerds are quite common. There was a nice coffee nerd area that surely you've all seen. Uh, you could. Um, uh, deal with coffee there and, and its production, how, how you grind it. And uh, it was a non-commercial event this, just to try out and experiment how you deal with coffee. And uh, all in all, 10 kilograms of coffee beans were turned into coffee or espresso. And uh, 10 kilos that 
went through were grinded through this bicycle there that so with muscle power S which means that overall it was 1000 espresso cups that this bicycle produced or were produced to the bicycle i wasn't able to find out how many thousand espressos uh, this would be in kilometers of cycling well seven kilos of filtered coffee were consumed another request uh, for the people that tested coffee uh, the cups that were borrowed uh, haven't been returned they have to come back to the coffee nerds please look around if you have a, such a cup around you and bring it back please so the third noted 75 cases just in general, there's no more information, no more detail on this. So I can't say how many bandages we needed or how many people cut themselves. Of course, at least this year, there were many more, many new volunteers this year who participated. And that's really worth a round of applause. And we can also be lucky that we didn't have any grave incidents there wasn't anything that was particularly threatening. The POC, uh, responsible for communication via telephone at this event, they had 2577 extensions, that means numbers that were given out. Out of those, 977 were decked. That's much less than GSM, which was 1198. Maybe this was about because of these nice cards, nicely designed cards, or something else we don't know. In total, there were 304 numbers given out for S SIP. SIP. Yeah. And I mean, generally, it's pretty impressive because simply for creating this GSM network, that's not something you do within a single day. The wireless network this year offered the possibility to actually register with a name with a username and a password to uh, um, use encrypted traffic that's the top 10 of usernames that have been used Th we don't have the passwords or we're not going to give them to you <laughs> so well just as a footnote the top 10 of the usernames for the Wi-Fi in total, there have been 5,000 simultaneous Wi-Fi wi connections, which is pretty much, it's quite a lot. That's quite a challenge to build up this infrastructure and keep it running. So again, thanks a lot to the people who were responsible for this. Another round of applause here in Hall 1. There we also had a security. We saw this, Mr. Glaza, thanks a lot for your services. Great, thumbs up. And his uh, three colleagues. But Hong, um, Hong, Hong cannot is be everywhere. He isn't everywhere, of course. And there were actually, there was this year not much, and we're actually proud that it wasn't more, considering that we had 9,000 people, that there weren't more incidents of crime here. These cases were partly people that came from the outside and there were not even actual participants. The, the grave cases of theft or of crime that actually happened don't have anything to do with the visitors here. Some more applause. In total, <laughs> we found two children and they have been returned. What? From how, many <laughs> how, how many <laughs> were conceived? No oh, information. No information. <laughs> so, on top of that, we have a few things I would like to mention, for which I didn't make a slide for, e for each. As always, when you leave, clean up after yourself. But please leave, different from the 
what we did in Berlin, leave all the chairs in the tables. So now I'm coming to this. The CCH, the Congress Center, all the people of the Congress Center are going to take care of taking away the tables and the chairs. We will be responsible for everything else, so if you have time to help a bit before you leave, please do so. And on top of that, well, yeah, maybe tell, s tell the angels that you can offer some help so they can coordinate it a bit better. I already talked about the Silk Road. It has to be torn down. If you played with it, please be fair, be nice and help tearing it down and take away some of the stuff, take it with you. We There was already a quite a big collection of things in the lost and found area on day two. It seemed like a few of them were quite important, some important documents. So please check your stuff, check if everything is there. There really is a huge box of things at the lost and found counter. So check if you have everything. And if you're missing anything, definitely, definitely check at lost and found and don't necessarily assume that it's been stolen. More shots from the audience? I, d I don't know. Maybe <laughs> go there and ask if your NSA documents have been found and handed in. Then, well. And yes, so there's going to be an after party. I, ha I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> it's going to happen when? At what time? The after party? At nine. Uh, downstairs in the lounge. In the lounge. But, oh, you'll only be able to access it from the outside. And it's going to be until when? Until later. So fr from from 9 p.m. until later. But what all happens? And then we also had one thing that I thought, which I s thought was really sad in this Congress, because Ray and Sec actually organized the hacker jeopardy for the lot their hacker jeopardy for the last time it's really really sad they've done this for a lot of they have done this for a lot of years and we'll thank them for this right now this play this time because it was always a really special event and there's more heartfelt applause from the audience and that was a difficult thing to translate always so we went into party mode for the last two years when that was on so once again the appeal to you guys the same thing second ray already did if you feel capable of continuing this event in the co coming years, then, well, get in touch with us. And so, Hacker Jeopardy might continue next year. Yeah. And the most important thing, for next year and the years after that, we need your feedback, and the f speakers need your feedback. Please use our s the system we created for this whole Congress administration in order to rate the talks and rate the speakers. Be honest, even if maybe you didn't like the topic. It's really important for us and good to know, also for the speakers, what we can improve, for example, when they uh, held a talk that wasn't that perfect. Take the time, it doesn't take much time. Of course, of course, you can also tell that things were good. You only don't o only have to criticize things. Just look at it, look at the list, um, take the talks you saw and rate them w on the online. And if they were really good, well, then give them five stars. They only they need that. So, well, we I mean, we we want them to come again, so they can hold another talk completely for free. So we'll talk another, have another slide um, with a few names of people that were incredibly important for the f congresses in the past and to whom we, whom we would like to s thank, especially at this third 30th Congress. There's, for example, Vau Holland, who can't be here anymore. There's Steffen, Andy, Ron, Tim Pridloff, Julia, who s unfortunately can't be here today. But that's simply because she, she continued the organization and stuff. Seepunkt and the whole setup crew that's been building up everything and that's been constructing everything here for a week or more. And all angels that have ever volunteered during this Congress and have been available 24-7 or 24-4 during these four days.
to get everything right for everyone. And particularly for this Congress, the angels were or are the most important part of the Congress. And we had media angels that these this year also took care of the press, see that they were happy. We had security angels, heralds that uh, took care of the speakers on stage. We had angels that took part in selling tickets and were manning or womaning the entrances personally. We had volunteers translating and all the helpers that uh, would carry a table from A to B and uh, would always be there for everyone that, that were actually uh, being uh, ranted at because they were too thorough or something. But all in all, they did a fantastic, cool job. So uh, lots of thanks again for the work in this huge building to the angels. This year, we had a much larger team than before taking care of the content of what was going to happen in this event for those people that took an incredible amount of time from over 350 submissions to choose those that uh, could speak at this Congress. Thanks a lot to all those content team workers who did all this in their spare time too. Thank you to Evelyn for the great graphics that uh, surely we all uh, have on our desktop backgrounds by now and on our new t-shirts. Thanks a lot to the CERT that hopefully is never going to be really needed, but it's good to know that there are so many volunteers that uh, look after uh, our participants' health. And many thanks to the NOC and particularly huge thanks to the NOC help desk, which basically is the interface between the NOC and the end user. Uh, they did fantastic work, great work, and 100 gigabits of internet connectivity were supplied by them. And they made sure that internally and externally we had a great network. The POC, I have mentioned them before. Again, here, lots of thanks to the POC. And the work at the POC help desk, in part, these were the people that actually were running the POC, but again, thanks for that. And of course, very new, the Silk Road operators and all the helpers that, uh, that laid down all these 1.4 kilometers of tubes all through the house and made sure that the Silk Road could actually be operated on the different stations. Thanks a lot for that. Also, the setup crew that, uh, again, at the 30th Congress, have been working here for over a week. And even as the Congress was going on, they did more work. Thanks a lot for that. And also to the party crew, who in the end had this wonderful lounge that they created and operated. And, and Andy, uh, who was the traveling fairy uh, for many speakers from abroad so that they could get their cheapest flights. And a very big thanks and applause for to the core organization that should be that sh we should get onto the stage now. That will that will be Julia Sipunt, Bernie, and Starbuck. But Julia cannot be with us today. Now go, come on stage. Don't you want to? Apparently, they don't want to. They don't want to. Okay, now what else is there to say? Uh, we are an incredibly large community that has met here. And apparently, or obviously, for, for many new people that have never been at a con Congress, that never have been in touch with uh, the community, uh, it was f just fantastic that these new arrivals were um, received in, in this cool way by the Chaos Godparents as a first step for the really shy people. And 
that was a great thing to have and I, th I think in the next few years it will continue in this way that we will have new uh, members to to accept and new members that here can involve themselves and can do something for the club and for the Congress uh, such as for example I've just uh, there was a slightly negative thing that I saw. We had Holo Claus that who, who left us this year. One of those that very intensely had been active for the club and the Congress. Unfortunately, he this year during the Congress preparations, he had he actually passed away. And for Holo Claus, I'd like to say a very large round of applause because not just this year he did a lot for the Congress but in the past years as well. <coughs> right, now that concept with the media angels that we started I already said that we are going to extend this. Uh, they were just uh, let loose on the press so that the press uh, would be well represented. Um, I don't have any exact numbers about press presence, but that maybe is not the important thing anyway. And uh, we had a 100 gigabit internet connection while all the people around us uh, are still having to deal with 16 megabits per second in their homes. Let's see how long we still have that 60 megabit nonsense to live with, but this is an absolute novelty that 100 gigabits, a uh, really, really broad line was possible. Lots of thanks to the people who made that possible. I have no idea how you could actually get this done. Yeah, and uh, in that sense, I would like to thank you for being here and, and taking part. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you at 31C3. <laughs> see that in binary <laughs> there? So I'll leave with that note. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>